Well, where some see progress in all the growth here in Las Vegas, others see intrusion. We're building onto land that once housed all sorts of wildlife. Yeah, that is certainly a delicate balance, as we know. And 13 Action News reporter Bree Guy examines that issue in our newsroom-wide initiative, tracking our growth from meadows to metropolis. We have created a human environment in the Mojave Desert. The Mojave Desert has been home to many different species long before humans inhabited it. Within its sharp peaks and sunset hues, the Mojave Desert is home to a vast number of different species. The desert tortoise, the ancient Joshua tree forest, bighorn sheep, and many more. But as the Las Vegas area continues to develop, the question remains, do these native species stand a chance? You see these big shifts when you lose those endemic species, those keystone species. It's still a desert, but it's not no longer the Mojave Desert, it is a new desert, and that could be a desert that is fairly desolate of, of creatures. The changing climate and decades-long drought are impacting these desert species in ways you might not think. The tortoises specifically, um, that means that we're seeing a little bit more predation on tortoises by other wildlife because they're looking for moisture sources and sometimes that comes in the form of meat. Friends of Nevada Wilderness, an organization dedicated to protecting wilderness areas, says the growth and development of Las Vegas can have negative impacts. As Las Vegas has grown, we've seen a huge increase in the invasive species around, um, especially things like cheatgrass or red brome that really take over a landscape so that there isn't as much um, plant diversity or as many native plants as there used to be and also be really impactful um, for wildfires. So those are things that can increase how many wildfires we're having as well as how intense they are. In order to make sure that these ecosystems aren't deeply disturbed, contractors and wildlife agencies say they take great caution with development. The National Environment Protection Act, or NEPA, is a government agency that aims to ensure all environmental impacts are assessed before a project starts. This process takes a lot of time and involves all kinds of scientists. One of the really important things that we're starting to see and learn about wildlife is that they need migration corridors. So places that um, allow them to go from maybe one habitat area to another, whether it's, you know, east to west or from lower elevations to higher elevations. One big project in the works is the Brightline West project, which will connect Southern California to Las Vegas. In this area, rich with southwest wildlife, the high-speed rail will get people from Los Angeles to Las Vegas in about three hours, twice as fast as driving. The Brightline West Construction Group says that this will be the greenest form of travel in the country. Carbon emissions from cars will be greatly reduced on this zero emission train. Brightline West says its goal is to do no harm to the wildlife in the area and have moved the railroad corridor to the 115 median, which is already disturbed. They have worked with public and private partners about wildlife issues and have biologists and trained staff on the site who know how to handle creatures. That's also a fairly new thing, um, but we're seeing that have some really great success for allowing those bighorn sheep as well as other animals like mule deer, um, coyotes, all sorts of things be able to move um, from you know one mountain range to another. Environmental groups across Nevada say we are sharing their space. They say if we encounter wildlife, leave them alone and watch from a distance. When you let somebody um, handle a tortoise that is a pet and not, you know, in, you know, a wild animal. Um, but they make that connection to the wild animal now. When you've been walking through your daily life, not, not being aware of, of your impacts, it makes you a little bit more conscious of, of your action. There are many conservation and environmental groups fighting to protect native Mojave species. You can find more about the projects and the groups on our website, ktmv.com. Reporting, I'm Brigai, 13 Action News.